Hi there everyone, this is Ryan Knapp from Send Athletics and today I'm going to talk to you about the positions in futsal. There are five players for each team that play in a game of futsal. There's four outfield players and there's one goalkeeper. So obviously the goalkeeper is going to be playing back by the goal. Now this is a 1-2-1 one, one formation, which I'll talk about in a later video when we deal with formations. Uh, but you typically have a center back or a defender, which is also called a pivot, depending where you might be reading different materials um, on futsal. Based on the countries, they might call the positions different names. Um, so center back or a pivot. Then you have a left winger or a right winger, just traditionally wingers. And then you have this player up here, which is your forward or a target, specifically in the 1-2-1 one, one formation. Now in futsal, which is different than 11-11 soccer, there's much more fluidity that happens. So you kind of have to know when you're in a certain position what your rules are and what you should be doing. Because if in this position the center back, say, passed the ball and he went and made a run through, all of a sudden this wing comes over and the center back might go over here. And now who's typically a winger is now the center back. So the fluidity in the game means that as a player, you need to be thinking about where you are in the field in relation to the ball and in relation to where the other team is. And that's going to determine what you should be doing and what you should be looking for to become the best player. And, and that allows a lot of creativity in the game. So each of these players is thinking creatively, not just being stagnant, I'm a center forward or I'm, I'm an outside wing, but rather when the ball moves, where do I need to go? And I might be a forward and for some reason there was a change here and now the forward is the last line of defense. So he needs to be thinking more defensively instead of just thinking to go up um, and be able to score. Now the center back, in terms of characteristics in the positions, the center back is really acting like your quarterback. So they're seeing the whole field. They often will receive the ball from the keeper first on a goal clearance and they're looking to set things up. They're calling out to where, they're calling out plays, they're calling out where their teammates should be and they're seeing the whole field based on where their position is in the back. The wings obviously need to be really comfortable in tight spaces because if you receive the ball here and let's pull a defender out, you're really close to the side of the pitch. You have to be comfortable and know where that line is and be comfortable in those tight spaces um, and not give the ball up. And be really fast too because they're often moving um, up and down the wings at a really high rate of speed. So they need to have the stamina and, and the, and the uh, agility to be able to do that. Now your forward or your target up here he, he, or he or she, when they receive the ball, they need to be comfortable with playing back to goal. Because not only can they turn and score and have the opportunity to do that, but in a 2 or a 1-2-1 one, one formation like this, they have to be comfortable with playing the ball off and passing. So not only do they have to be comfortable turning and scoring, but the physicality needs to be there as well because that's a little bit different in futsal. Um, and so they need to be to pass and to shoot and to know where they are in this space to be able to open it up uh, with their teammates. And the goalkeeper, last but not least, um, needs to be just as mobile and just as elegant as a player as the rest of them because the ball might come back to the keeper and he's playing with his feet or in some cases the keeper might even take the might even get the ball and dribble all the way up and attack and, and even try to score so whereas in typical soccer they're, they're kind of known for their hands and less their foot skills in futsal they're going to get a good workout and they need to be able to be active um, and, and that's sort of the last thing I want to touch on is all these players need to be active in futsal. There's no hiding. The game is so much faster and so much quicker that the speed needs to be there and the consistency of all these players needs to be there to really make it gel. And we're going to talk about that in, in our video on formations and, and tactics that you can play. So those are the basic characteristics and positions for futsal. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave us a comment below on YouTube or you can find us online at www.sendaathletics.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have fun playing futsal with your team or playing yourself, and we'll see you on the field.